When you ask clients or employees about your firm's brand perception, it may be difficult to collect the right data. Even if you do have great data, how should you analyze it and take action? People can rank you on specifics like staying within a budget and sticking to a timeline, but what about defining exactly how you make a difference? Sometimes you need outside help at different stages. But first, we need to understand the stages of a successful brand positioning survey. Set your goal. What pain or interest are you trying to address? This will help you create the right questions and ask the right target audience. For example, if you are concerned about a drop-off in new business in an industry sector, ask clients about their perception of that service or what you are most known for within that industry. Get the questions right. Any good journalist knows that the right questions matter. Be clear, be concise, include multiple choice to challenge and measure your own perceptions of firm value. If you only ask about levels of satisfaction with services or teams, you won't have anything specific to improve upon. Keep some open-minded branding questions in there to get more data. Make it easy. Use a survey tool that is easy to navigate, plus send out several friendly email invitations that clearly define the reason for the brand research. How will this survey benefit the survey taker? Make the process easy and about them to boost participation. Then analyze the data. For example, if respondents rank your services in order of awareness, are the less well-known services based on reality or simply because of who took the survey? How should you respond to promote less well-known services? Do certain industries rank those services better than others? Pay attention to this phase for the most value. Do something with your survey results. Brand research should result in stronger brand positioning. If it does not, get help with the stages of your survey strategy.